What's up guys, Not Super Mario here and welcome back to WandaVision Watch Along episode 4, the first episode that nobody has seen because the first three were released to the press and now we are all finally here that nobody has seen. I, I don't know what was I trying to say. Anyway, the previous episode I think was awesome. Uh, we got twins, we got to see that WandaVision could be the villain of this show and controlling the things that happens. Even though I still, uh, I'm wondering, is there somebody else in play? Uh, but yeah, we ended an episode with Monica Rambo getting thrown out of this reality bubble, whatever it is. We don't know yet, but yeah, I'm very excited. Stay tuned for tomorrow when me and Matiz are gonna do a live stream to recap this, today's episode, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, let's without further ado, start with episode 4 of WandaVision! Whoa, what the heck? Lieutenant Travel. That was Captain Marvel! Was that after the blip? We are getting a backstory to Monica Rambo. Yeah, after the blip. Dylan, where's my mom? Your mom? She died, honey. You were gone for five years. What? No, yes. We're getting the outside world, SWORD Headquarters. Maria Photon Rambo. Okay. Can't say I'm surprised, Captain. I don't know what that means, the but I'm sure it's important. Program. Your mom built this place from the ground up. Okay. You should have been here to help name the replacement. You were the obvious choice. Yeah, Jimmy Woo! Randall Park! Pardon me, Sheriff. Would you mind repeating your claim about Westview to my colleague here? No such place. Why haven't you gone inside to investigate? Because it doesn't want me to. Mm-hmm. Oh, so that's the helicopter we saw in the second episode? Even though it, it looks you? different, maybe it was time well, appropriate because we were in the 60s up, then. I don't Jordan know. Rambo. Oh, snap! Captain Rambo. Hey, Cat Dennings, Darcy's back. Um, I don't know how excited I am. I mean, it's really awesome to see her back. Uh, We're not supposed to talk to each other. But, yeah. you know, to be completely honest, I would yeah, rather yeah, see Stellan Skarsgård. <laughs> I need a TV. An old one. Like, not flat. <laughs> what do we have up? Radar, LiDAR, SODAR, infrared. Cycle through. <laughs> Radar, LiDAR, SODAR, BORDAR, DEODOR, and TAR TAR. Bings. <laughs> Is that? Uh, it looks like her. You move at the speed of sound and I can make a pen plug through the air. Who needs to abbreviate? <laughs> Look, I know it's been a crazy few years on this planet, but he's dead, right? Yep. Not flipped. Dead. dead. Excellent. My equipment registered an extremely high level of CMBR. That's relic radiation dating back to the Big Bang. So you're saying the universe created a sitcom starring two Avengers? Damn, this is getting interesting. Okay, so they're all citizens of New Jersey. Harold Potter is Jones. You got Isabel Matsueda, cast as Beverly. Nice. Collins is her. What? Oh, Monica. So what? Deep cover. Monica has to play along? With whom? Or else what? All right, brass tacks, Dr. Lewis. What are we looking at here? Is it an alternate reality, time travel, some cockamamie social experiment? It's a sitcom. This transmitter will mimic the frequency of the broadcast, and if my theory is right, allow us to speak directly to her. This is totally gonna work. So now we're we'll gonna see up. that Jimmy was the one who was talking to Wanda. Why'd you colorize it? I didn't. Hmm. Let's get the show on the road. I like that we are getting questions answered. Who's doing this to you, Wanda? Wanda, can you hear me? I'm here to help. <laughs> Pop quiz, Wanda. How does a housewife get a blood stain out of one Wait. Wait. What? I don't know. Huh. Nothing. The commercial was right after he was trying to communicate with her. Is the commercial part like an intervention so she can, or if somebody is like controlling this, 
to like rewind and make this world not as accessible and that's why he becomes a beekeeper nice nice i love it we are getting all the questions answered i love that did she just say the name ultron has that happened before a reference to our reality no never oh wow, this is different what happened where'd she go god not again oh. who are you Wanda. It glitched. There's nothing here. Alert. Alert. Monica Rambo is outside. Yes, go get her. Let us know what the freak is going on. I'm just your neighbor. And how did you know about Ultron? Oh. You're not my neighbor. Oh. And you're definitely not my friend. Oh, goddammit. You are a stranger and an outsider. Right now, you are trespassing here. Oh, snap. Ooh. <laughs> Jesus. Well, bye bye. Bye bye, Monica. Yep, 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 yep. She is gonna be the villain of the show and of Doctor Strange, too. Oh! What? What is it? What's wrong? It's that vision! Whoa, whoa, Jesus! This is our home. Are you sure? Oh, don't worry, darling. I have everything under control. It's all... Wanda. Wanda. I love this episode. I love this episode, even though I think it was too short. It ended so quickly. I, in one way, I love that now I have the anticipation for the next episode, but I have to wait one more week to finally, like, no more but what i loved about this episode first of all we got a backstory to monica, monica rambo we got some uh, answers not uh, we yeah we got some answers we got some questions answered uh, we got to see cat dennings uh, randall park was back uh, we got to know uh, who created Sword. It was Maria Rambo, Monica's mom, who unfortunately uh, has passed away. In the, we we know that we noticed we found out, um, which uh, was I, I didn't expect the blip. I mean, it was during the blip Monica came back, but in this time, like five time period, her mom died. We also heard Captain Marvel's voice at the beginning. Um, we also got to know. Um, that I think WandaVision is the bad guy in this show and I think in Doctor Strange too as well. She showed us that even though I still don't believe she's completely in control and there's somebody else like overseeing or controlling what's going on, I think she wants to be in this reality, wants to be with Vision with her two kids, twins, um, and yeah, it's been it's been an awesome episode and I cannot wait to see more. Like I said, tomorrow me and Matisse are going to talk about it. But I really love this episode. First of all, it gave us a lot of answers, a lot of things that we were questioning. How the hell it happened? Why the beekeeper? Now we know why the beekeeper. Beekeeper, why the the red helicopter? Now we know why. Who was the voice on the radio? Now we know why. Uh, what is this force field? Now we know why. We also know, uh, like Westview is not actually a thing, and now we know why. I mean, we know so much, but so little at the same time. I'm so excited. Cannot wait for episode five next week. Share your opinion in the comments down below. Please tomorrow, if you have time, join me and Matiz on the recap, uh, on the live streams where we are going to talk in depth about this episode. But yeah, I loved it, I loved it, I loved it, and I cannot wait to see more. But yeah, if, the, uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, share this video, or otherwise click the bell icon to get notified when I upload, and I see you next time.